Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Leighton Orient. Let's see the experience changes. There's a different colour. The purple represents the game interfering with our overalls. And to combat this, we put everybody's potential at once. So hopefully we don't see any more breakouts. Fingers crossed. But if we do, it'll be indicated in purple. Big thanks to everybody who voted in the scouting poll. The winner was Omar Dadashoff. And he joins Baichi Hajiwara, Colin Campbell, Yasuo. Yassin Hassan, Daniel Fletcher and Jesse Chandler in the Youth Academy that you've not seen yet. It's very advantageous to keep them in the Youth Academy because they do have potentials there. But we are promoting everybody that is 16 because our squad is light at the moment. Saba Lee 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 is hard to disagree. Saba Lee 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 banging goals guaranteed to the left. To the right, drops defenders to their knees. Come and dance every night to the tune of Sabali. The first game, Leighton Orient against Sutton United. We're in great spirits. How about that for a chance? I didn't see that many good submissions, I'm not going to lie. So I just worked on one for the last 30 minutes. Let's be having you! Where are you? We've got to slow down on Briem's development as well. Now he's at 65 I suggest don't boost him in the Discord server. You know what he wants to do? He's just trying to stop it. Oi! I don't know, referee. Scott Cleves going in. Apparently not winning that ball. Beautyman, no chance. Tembo has it. And he's going in for a second save. Tembo! Gonzalo Avia. With Daniel Waite out wide. Got the speed. I'm going to just try and cut in with Daniel Waite. See where we can get. That was not bad at all. Oh. Great pass. Here's all off a lovely goal. We stuck too many players upfield. There's all off a for the second. They're swarming us midfield. Oh, and then they're just too quick for us in that defensive line. Tembo, excellent. Excellent stuff. Saving us from disaster. We've got to figure it out. Amit Panda looks like he's got the beating of that defender. Oh, it'll drop to Sosa. Off the ball. And back in. Sabali. Oh, that's a bit better from Leighton Orient. Angle, Scott. Get your angles right. You've got this. You've got this. Apparently, he didn't. Tembo makes himself big. That could have distracted. Just punch it. Just confirm the corner, mate. You could have punched it out for a throw-in, but no. He fancies defending a corner. Probably wants to fancy it. No, he's got a great save off. Because that's what Tembo does. And Briem has so much running room with Sabali inside. It's not a great pass. It's absolutely awful. Briem should have really done more to help out his forward there. Come on, then. Let's get your... That is Lewis Proctor. I mean, I don't really know what he's trying to do with his feet, but he's got it away. That's the main thing. We're quickly getting caught out. This could be a ball across. Big man Tembo, what a save. He's flying with these performances. It's a corner kick. See up here, Tembo. Still 2-0. It's still gettable there for Leighton Orient, but my goodness, we need to pull the trousers up. Go back to the midfield. Maybe we open up space here. Thompson, yes. It's not the best, but here we go. Wait, across. We have worked that well. Cleve's doing everything that he can. Looks like an easy through ball. Oh, yeah, there you go. We were throwing the kitchen sink at it. It's not worked out. We could add another to sweeten up the score line. Oh, we could see another misplaced pass by this midfield. It was a totally gettable game, that. But passing let us down. For the most part, our goal was nice. Midweek game, perfect to see the new faces. Dadashov gets his debut, along with Fletcher, the right wing spot. It's Scunthorpe United against Leighton Orient. Oh, dear, dear. Go on with the refit crew. Chase that down. <laughs> Tang will get chipped. <laughs> and the animation for Tang there. As if he's trying to save a blistering shot across his box. Thompson really needed support from Alvarez there. Hey, Alvarez has got the ball. Oh! Centre-backs are not going to struggle with pace that much today. Could struggle with everything else. <laughs> Perry makes it 2-0, Scunthorpe. Yeah, it's good by Hogan. Well held off. Thompson into the bottom corner. The struggle is real. Abit, you're just missing the slide tackle there. Badashov coming across before the centre-back. 
Really? Oh, what a goal. Oh my god, what a shot that was. That is an annihilation. That is a violation. Uh, it will be another one. We could have made this interesting. 4-1 down. Definitely not at the races today. Hit it, Fletcher. Alvarez doesn't get dispossessed this time. However, he's passed it to the guy offside. Please don't get in each other's way. They got in each other's way. Today, do Hogan. John Paul Zabali. Not on the same wavelength. Can't score a second. Full time at 4-1. Awful. As I'm setting up for this third game, let's just take an ad break. We'll get Dadashov into the first team. He's struggling with speed like a VR, but going forward, he could offer something different. Northampton Town against Leighton Orion. We're forgetting how to unlock defences. Lowest scoring team, Northampton, so that could be a relief to the defence. Although, watch them go to town against me. We're the top goal scoring team. No real surprise there. It's a very entertaining way of playing football, at least. Thompson. Gets that all wrong. Defending Scott. Well played. Just had the legs there. Omar's out of position. Needed to do a bit better than that. Riding out a bad day on FIFA, I think. John Paul Sabali might have answers for us. So, so. Nice work. Wait's got to finish it. Oh, it's a great save. Why is Scott the guy at the front post for us? Sigurda Briem. Effort. Proctor and Scott on hand to try and stop this attack. But it is volleyed home by number 11 for the second goal. Northampton easily running away with this one. Might be wise to stop this at three games. Have the rest of the time today reading some of your wonderful comments. Because it ain't getting better, I'm afraid. I'm trying to be as positive as possible. Oh, penalty! Oh, no, referee! It's a clear one! There might be a bit of life in us, but we can't get the ball into the back of the net. So what's the point? Save Tembo, well played. Win it! Yeah, loving the goalkeeper and he's flicked it over the crossbar. Radu Flocker, probably disgruntled. Oh, we've smashed! Oh, are you joking? Yes, I'm it, Panda. So Bally turn. He's got to finish it. He has! Finally, some life breathed into late and Orion. Can we grab a point now? Proctor closes the angles down. It's a flick to the back post. Oh, lovely by Tembo. Five minutes. We need to get this ball upfield. Ah. A better showing from us from the second half display. I've just been waiting for it. Maybe a spark ignited in me. Today's been a confusing one. Next fixture could offer some welcome relief. That is an away tie against Oxford United in the FA Cup second round. Don't know what was up with me today. I need a drink. Ah, you own a pub now, Matt. I should have known from the sign outside. Pennington. Yeah, indeed, Pennington. Have you got any Kraken and Coke? I really would fancy a Kraken and Coke right now. Penny you, Penny you. Bro, you're not a Pokemon. You can say other things than your own name. I really enjoy watching films starring Meg Ryan. Hey, Houston, Apollo 11, all 12 latches are locked. Uh, Roger 11, this is Houston, understand 12 latches locked. First comment, I seen it coming. The fight Papa found Dada is pleasing me. I'm glad someone noticed. That Stevenage game may have been embarrassing, but at least it's not as embarrassing as Tottenham's kits. Thank you, Timothy Quirk. Play on easy mode. Looks too hard for you. I don't get these comments. The start of every single series you get, oh, it looks too difficult. And by the end of the series, it's like, oh, it looks too easy. He's building a zoo. He's building a zoo. Radu Flocker, he's building a zoo. From the current performances I've seen, Proctor is going to become an absolute beast in the future. Thankfully, it's not just me seeing that. Flocker's Orion are about as consistent as my bowel movements. Thank you very much, Alex Bower. Enjoying the save so far, Curtis? Your shirt collection must be stacked now. Amazing. If anyone would like to see the shirt collection, which is kind of growing, not gonna lie, then I will happily do a little
little video on the extra channel. Cutsy, why do you keep bringing the keeper out so far in 1v1s? It's part of the tactic. Radu Flocker wants a sweeper keeper. We were not able to make it work last year because chips were even worse. Play a panda noise every time he scores, maybe. I don't even know what a panda sounds like. Here's a panda. Sounded like a wolf. Okay, this is what grey wolves sound like. No, I know what grey wolves sound like. We'll throw in a scenario for good measure. The whole team watches You've Got Mail starring the wonderful Meg Ryan. It's a good bonding session. The defenders learn much from Matt Pennington as he weeps uncontrollably. All defenders will gain double experience next episode. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching the series up to this point. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications don't miss any uploads to the channel please go and check out our creator club career mode where we ask a random person on the internet to pick us a place and then we create a team based off that place big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me on patreon keeping a roof over my head and keeping this thing full time cheers guys see you on the next one